Hey guys, welcome back to Guru Beauty. I'm Jodie and I wanted to share with you some hair products that I've been using lately that I've really been enjoying. I was sent these for consideration to review and I wanted to share with you the products that I am indeed enjoying. They are from the Tony and Guy Hair Meat Wardrobe range. And this is the Tony and Guy range that is available in Priceline. They may also be available in Big W supermarkets, but I definitely see them at Priceline, often on special for up to 20% off. And usually they really retail for somewhere between $14 to say $18. They have quite a big range including the creative range, they have the line for men, the glamour line which is more about shine, uh, they have the prep line which is more about you know treatments, conditioners, getting hair ready for styling including the mousse that kind of thing and also the classic line. There's probably about half a dozen products to each of those particular lines within the hair meat wardrobe but you'll see them all grouped together there at Priceline and these are the products that were shared with me to try. So the first product that I have that I would apply after a towel dried state would be the volumizing mousse. This one is from their prep range. This is the volume plumping mousse and I just direct that primarily at my roots always give mousse a good shake. I just dispense like an egg sized amount in my hand, rub it between my hands and apply it right through. Then it does take extra time but I do always section off my hair when I'm styling it so I just sort of go right around behind each ear section it off and clip it up and then I use a vented round brush that conducts heat and helps with the drying and I use a wool super dryer um, ionic hair dryer as well for faster drying and lower heats. Okay, so at this stage, once I've actually finished blow drying, I can go with a few options. I can go with the Moisturizing Shine Spray. This is a lightweight polish. It's not going to give as much shine as like the Moroccan Oil Glimmering Mist, which I love that, that Glimmer Mist. This Moisturizing Shine Spray will just sort of finish off, just give your hair a bit of a shine, just help it look polished. That's a really nice thing to do after you blow dry. Or if you're after something a little bit more sort of casual and beach wavy, you can also try their Sea Salt Texturizing Spray. I really like this one, it's a nice one. This is part of their casual range. So today I'm going to use their Moisturizing Shine Spray. And I just, I don't use a whole lot of that. I just sort of spray it through the mid lengths. I hold it probably about 20 centimeters away and just pop it through like that. Then I just give my roots in particular a bit of a spray using their Extreme Hold Hairspray. This says that it's gravity defying control. It's a nice one, it's a fine mist and I think it does a fine job. I just sort of get that in the roots to try and keep some body that I've got there from the blow dry. And then the very last thing I do is the ends. So using their Shine Gloss Serums. I don't use a whole lot of this. There you can see it in my hand. Rub my hands together. And then just using my fingertips in the very, very ends of the hair, you can see there, just finishing off the ends. And I make sure I get right underneath there where I am prone to knots as well, just to finish off the ends and give everything a final polished look. And then one last product that I'm not using today that I did want to mention because it will be in our favourites video is actually the Tony and Guy Dry Shampoo. It says it gives you day to freshness. I use this the day after I wash my hair. I do have a fairly oily scalp and my hair will look greasy on day two and three. Sometimes I will leave my hair for day three and use a curling iron or something like that just to restyle my hair. But dry shampoo is vitally important to me to not washing my hair every day. 
day which helps the natural oils and everything come back in so their dry shampoo is in a 250 ml can it's quite big compared with a 150 ml batiste can you can see the size difference there now I am really enjoying this dry shampoo the batiste has been in many many favorites videos even there's a two dollar one from Target that I've really been enjoying but I will say that what I like about the Tony and Guy dry shampoo is while it is a higher price point than the Batiste which normally goes for somewhere between $7.99 to $9.99 a can for the 150 mils is that this doesn't need redoing so I find when I put this in my roots on day two and you know massage it through and then style my hair I find that day three my hair is not greasy. With Batiste, I find that it works really well on day two, but then when I go to style my hair on day three, if I haven't washed it, this definitely needs doing again, so my scalp has gotten oily. So less oily breakthrough for day three, I would say, with this shampoo. So possibly you're using less as well than the Batiste. Across day two and three, you'd be using twice the amount with the Batiste. So the value of this can certainly does come down a bit, and I do find that this does keep my hair grease-free longer than the Batiste. So a few options there to choose from with dry shampoo, but I'm really enjoying this Tony and Guy one. So that's it. They are the Tony and Guy products that I have been using in my hair for the last month or so. I really, really like them. The one product that I do use every day is a heat protectant. So before I do any kind of heat styling, and that's every day, whether it's blow drying or curling or straightening, I do use a heat protectant. I do not see heat protectant in any of the products that I've shown you today. So if you have tried a heat protectant from Tony and Guy, definitely comment down below and let us know what you think about it. I do currently still hold the Tresemme Heat Tamer Protective Spray as my favorite, great price point, nice fine mist and does a great job. So that is it, I hope that you enjoyed. I'd love to hear from you what your favorite hair products are. Do comment down below and let me know. Love to hear from you as always. Thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful day. We'll see you again really soon, bye.